So yeah, basically you're healing and people are left behind. That's just going to happen. Because when you're an Ascended Master, you are consistent on your work. Your healing, whatever you devote to you, you always do it every day. That's why with this whole video, like YouTube, my channel was about, you know, um, lately, is that you devote yourself to your healing. And it's because you not only play a role in this world, special role, but not only that, um, you want to bring something in your life. You genuinely want to move in life. Where some people, they are just in the, you know, progressing stage. And there's nothing wrong with that. But how many years is it going to take you to stay in the progressing stage? How long is it going to take you? Do you see where I'm coming from? There's a lot of people who will row their boat at their own pace, and I respect that. But the thing is, is that if you row your own boat, and, you know, you just do it of healing, it might not be great. Sometimes you just have to get through it. You just have to learn to face things and accept things. So that way you can join with your higher self. Because let me tell you kids, I don't want to, I don't want to wait to do my work, my shadow work. I was always doing this shit every day. It hurt like a bitch. I don't want to let go of my attachments. But let me tell you, when I let go is when I truly felt free. But yeah, I understand that let people row their own boats at their own pace, be in their own progress. But the thing is, is that you're not in the progress stage, kids. You're in the ascension stage. And you grow faster than people. And you have to learn to understand that if you're behind the race. Well, it's not race, but I'm just making an example. If there are people behind where you're going so fast, that's a sure sign they can't keep up, keep up with you. And you got to remove them, baby.